What's up, YouTube? It's Mark from Kentucky. Back in our video. Back with some vintage card pickups. These are some cards I've been picking up over the last couple of weeks. Uh, some of these actually uh, I've had for about a month before I decided to do a video. Um, yeah, this uh, first card I'm going to show you I bought actually uh, way back June 19th. I bought a... Uh, 1957 Jim Bunning rookie. Jim Bunning's from Kentucky. He was a politician for our state. I believe he was in our uh, the Senate, U.S. Senate uh, representative for Kentucky. Um, but uh, very nice looking card. SGC three and a half, just off centered, um, sharp corners. Really happy with this card. Hall of Famer, uh, fellow Kentuckian. Sweet card. I've been looking at this for a while. I got this a really good deal on this thing. This one I got off of the eBay and it was uh, $72. 72 bucks with shipping and everything. It was 81. So super psyched to have that vintage Hall of Fame rookie card in my collection. Um, the next uh, ones I'm going to show you was a lot that I picked up. There was four cards in this lot. Uh, the 1961 Ron Santo rookie card. This looks really good too. Just off-centered. Good looking card. Um, picked up that. This 1959 Ernie Banks. It's got a little stain on the back of the card. Off-centered, but... Uh, Really, really, really good looking card. Great eye appeal. Picked up that. I'll take this down for a second so I'll show you there too. I picked up a uh, William McCovey rookie card. 1960 tops. These are notorious for being off center. So that's you can see off center top to bottom. But still real, really cool card. Love the trophy cards. There's two of them there. And also this Frank Robinson, second year card. Uh, he had these in a, you know, I bundled these together. Um, I didn't realize that this one, because you couldn't tell by the pictures, but it's got some pretty significant creasing in it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's one here. There's a big one that goes down the center here. But anyway, I got all four of those cards for $111. Um, plus tax and shipping. I don't exactly remember what the... Maybe $119, uh, something like that. That's what, uh, what it ran me after tax and shipping, something like that. But pretty cool. Had those vintage cards to the collection. This one I really like a lot. This is a 1965 Tony Oliva. Tops All-Star Rookie. This card is very nice. I mean, this card is super sharp. I bet if I sent this in for a grade, it would probably get a 6. It does have one little minor, minor surface issue. A little, There's a little uh, dimple in it. Uh, but very, very sharp card of the uh, now Hall of Famer, Tony Oliva. Uh, been looking at this card for a while. I was able to snag this one for 18 bucks. Uh, plus tax and shipping. So super happy to have that. Got uh, Billy Williams. 62. Trophy card again. What up, Mike Hitman 23? I know you love the uh, Topps Trophy card, so do I. Uh, but this ran only 12 bucks. Really good deal on that. Uh, also picked up a Joe Torrey rookie. This card you got to pay up for. It's, it's, this is kind of an expensive card. Um, no, it's not a high number. It's 218 But uh, this card ran me with tax and shipping right about 40 bucks. But uh, really, really cool to have that card in the collection. Picked up a 69 Jerry Kuzman Trophy Cup card. Cool card there. Second year, Mets Hall of Famer, 
Uh, he's got his jersey retired, matter of fact, at City Field. But uh, really good looking card there. Of course, you guys know what, what his rookie card is. Is sitting uh, right beside a guy named Mr. Nolan Ryan. So cool to have a second year card anyway. Um, and then I picked these up for five bucks a piece at the Plain, uh, Plainfield Card Show in Indiana. Um, was that in? That was in May. Went to that show, I believe. Uh, May or maybe June. I can't remember it. That the Dave Concepcion rookie for five bucks. Couldn't pass that up. That's in pretty good shape too for seventy one. My boy Gary Carter. His trophy cup, 1976, five bucks. Had to do that. Yeah, there's a guy there with a vintage case, and he everything every card in there was five bucks. So I picked up these two, uh, along with uh, Mr. Uh, Richie Allen. What is that? A 66. Yeah, 1966 tops. That's a good looking card. Really sharp. Just a little off centered. Five bucks, can't beat that. And then I've got three that I picked up uh, at the, a card shop in uh, Myrtle Beach that I'll show you. Um, Andre Dawson, 78 card cup, rookie card cup. See that theme there? A uh, very nice, very nice uh, 1977 Hall of Fame reliever rookie card of uh, Bruce Suter and an Alan Trammell rookie slash Paul Mulder so uh, for those three actually I've got those the those three cars in an 81 Tim Raines it's not vintage so I didn't include it in this uh, video but uh, it was 20 bucks for or excuse me 25 bucks for uh, all three of those cards so I thought that was pretty good of course, this card is known for being off center. Hard to find this thing centered, but um, pretty good. I mean, to get it for fifteen bucks, I thought was a good deal. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stick my Jim Bunning card back up here. Let you guys have a good, good look, good view. Hopefully, that light didn't screw up this video. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, that's what I picked up. Um, appreciate you guys for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite pickup was that I, that I got. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please give me a sub and keep on collecting.